August 24th, live at the Dory Funk Arena. It's Living on the Edge. In the main event, Adam Windsor will face Osamu Nishimura in a 60-minute Iron Man match. The wrestler with the most pinfalls at the end of the 60 minutes will be the Funkin' Conservatory heavyweight champion. Get your tickets now from To Your Health Spa. Living on the Edge, Saturday, August 24th. Who will be the Iron Man? Be there. Ladies and gentlemen, last week on Bang, we witnessed the start of a match of the year, Adam Windsor, the Royal Stud, against Osamu Nishimura. Today on Bang, we will witness the exciting conclusion to the great match. With me in the studio, one of the participants, the Royal Stud, Adam Windsor. Nasty, there is the German suplex which put me down one fall last week on Bang. Nishimura just pinned me with that German suplex story. And that did uh, put me down one four. But at the moment, Nishimura is ahead by one pin four. So as we join this exciting match, today on Bang, Adam Windsor down one fall. As you see, Nishimura has me down on the map, locked in that cross face position. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned to Bang because coming up, the exciting conclusion. Saturday, August 24th, live at the Dory Funk Arena, it's Living on the Edge. In the main event, Adam Windsor will face Osamu Nishimura in a 60-minute Iron Man match. The wrestler with the most pinfalls at the end of the 60 minutes will be the Funkin' Conservatory heavyweight champion. Get your tickets now from To Your Health Spa. Living on the Edge, Saturday, August 24th. Who will be the Iron Man? Be there. Hi, this is Missy Hyatt, and welcome to Bang TV. I'm here at the Funking Conservatory. And you know what? If you want to become a wrestler, if you want to become a manager or a promoter or even a valet like me, get in touch with Dory Funk. And maybe you can be right here on TV with me. Right now, as we join this wrestling match in progress, Osamu Nishimura with a, uh, it looks like a, a, almost a crippler cross face on the Royal Stud, Adam Windsor. Adam, you're in trouble. You're down one fall. You've got to make a comeback on this Japanese superstar, Osamu Nishimura. That's right, and Dory, you've got to remember, I'm still feeling the effects from that German suplex. You do land slightly on the back of your head when given that big maneuver, especially by Osamu Nishimura. And that maneuver did put me down at one pinfall. As you see, though, I managed to get to the ropes now. Nishimura is standing over me, as you see, working on my left arm, kicks the side of my arm, Dory, and a spin oh, kick catches me right in the solar plexus. And Dory, I can tell you right now that that did take the wind right out of me. Not often do you see the Royal Stud taken down with one blow, but that was a stiff, hard kick right to the chest, right to the heart area of the Royal Stud. Adam Windsor, he rose outside the ring, uh, taking a breather, regrouping. Him, yeah, say. I'm regrouping, Dory. I'm trying to get the air back into my lungs, but Nishi Moore stops me before I can even enter the ring. He's got me by the hair and a forearm to the side of my face, knocking Dory back down to the concrete floor in the Dory from Arena. As we are watching the Royal Stud, is in trouble. Down one fall in this best two out of three falls match for the Funkin' Conservatory World Championship. The Royal Stud entering the ring right now. Nishi Moradori is scouting me all the time. He's not letting me go from his sights to lock up into a position again. I need him in the stomach. I have Nishi Moradori. His legs are up in the air. A pile driver by the Royal Stud, Adam Winslow and Osama Nishimura, and that's 
uh, an offensive move, but really in defense of yourself, right, Adam? Really, Dory, it really is in defense of myself. You know, I'm fighting all the time. I'm down the pinfall right now, and I'm doing anything that I can to ground Nishimura, to take his energy away from him in hopes of scoring the next pinfall. Because, you know, Dory, if he wins the next pinfall, he will be the champion. Immediately, he will be the champion. So I need to fight him, and I've got him. I'm fighting him right now. I have his left arm. Lock really, it, it really in a wrist lock position. The Royal Stud with the top wrist lock on Simon Nishimura. But Nishimura manages to get to the ropes, manages to have his feet on the ropes, Dory. And Dory, I am going to break the hold before the referee counts to five. You know, even at this point, Nishimura, if the match were to go the time limit, at this point, Nishimura would be the winner since he's up one fall in this two out of three fall match. Myself and Nishimura square off one more time. We lock up one more time. Actually, at this point, this match is all oh, a beautiful drop kick there by Adam Windsor right in the corner and a second drop kick. And as you can see, double the pressure because Nishimura has no place to go. It's not often that you see Nishimura down with the mat, Dory. But right now, he is down on the mat. He's fighting to get back up, but I take him by the head. I have a front face lock locked in tightly around the neck of Osamu Nishimura. Saturday, August 24th, the Bang Television tapings return to the Dory Funk Arena. That's right, Dory. It's living on the edge. Get your tickets now because we are having visitors for our Bang Television taping from Tokyo, Japan. 50, that's right, I said 50 Japanese travelers are coming to the Funky Conservatory to watch the great match between the Royal Stud, Adam Windsor, and Osama Nishimura. And this match, Dory, is going to be a special match. It's going to be an Iron Man 60-minute time limit match. No disqualifications. The man with the most pinfalls at the end of 60 minutes will be the winner and will be the champion. And, Dory, I'm going to state right now on Bang that I've been training hard for the last couple of weeks. I'm going to keep on training right up to the day of the match because I don't plan to lose that belt. Well, everybody knows that has been supporting us, and we want to thank all our fans that come out to the Dory Funkin' Arena. You can see them right there now. Thank them for their support. But everybody knows the improvement and the conditioning of the Royal Stud, Adam Windsor, Osama Nishimura, Adam Windsor, Iron Man match. One hour time limit. The match will go for one hour. The man with the most falls at the end of the one hour time limit will be declared the winner and the Funky Conservatory World Champion. This is probably going to be the toughest match of my career to date, Dory, especially being in the ring one more time with Osamu Nishimura. He will have a strong following behind him with the Japanese fans there. So, Dory, anything could happen this be, Iron Man match. It's going to be pandemonium at the, at the Dory Funk Arena. 50 Japanese wrestling fans, I'm sure they'll be behind Osamu Nishimura. The, on the American side, we'll have our regular fans there. I'm sure they'll be split. Adam Windsor, the Royal Stud against Osamu Nishimura. It's going to be a wild night at the, Funk, at the Dory Funk Arena. Call the number on your screen right now. Get your tickets or go by to your health spa and get your tickets right now. Get them early because seating is going to be limited. Yes, seating is going to be limited. There's already 50 Japanese fans going to be there, so you better get your tickets early. You better get your tickets now. Get them to your health spot. As you see right now, Dory, I am on top of Nishimura with that side headlock. I'm really crossing the face right now of Osamu Nishimura. It seems like Nishimura has one fan right here, uh, Missy Hyatt, in the corner of Osamu Nishimura. Not his manager, not his valet, but she's there in support of him. She just came out during this match, as have a lot of the members of the team of the Funkin' Conservatory. Nishimura, though, fighting out of that side headlock, Dory, and now has my arms trying to put me into a camel clutch. That's a camel clutch made famous by the original sheep. He's got it locked in, Dory, and he, as you see, he's pulling up my head, wrenching on my neck and sitting on my back at the same time. That's a painful hold applied by Osamu Nishimura on the Royal Stud, Adam Windsor. And Windsor is down, down at this position in this great wrestling match, down one fall. Windsor must come back and at least even the score or the Funko Conservatory Championship will go to Osamu Nishimura. Osamu Nishimura with a surfboard, Windsor trying to reverse the position. You can reverse this hold, or you can reverse it 
on your opponent, but as you see, Nishimura is still having my arms. Look how far back he's wrenching me. This is a, a test of strength, and, and there you can see the members of the Funky Conservatory out to watch this great wrestling match between Osama Nishimura and the Royal Stud, Adam Windsor, using leverage and strength, fighting the strength of Osama Nishimura, and Nishimura brings him back down, Windsor trying to reverse on the other side. He's trying again, Dory, right now. I've got him, Dory, but no, he reverses it back again. That's a double reverse by Osama Nishimura of the surfboard on the Royal Stud, Adam Windsor. The interest of the fans, the interest of the other wrestlers in the Funkin Conservatory out here watching this great match is really something to see. Now I've got him, Dory. I have his arms. I've reversed the hold, and now I have the surfboard back on Osama Nishimura. I'm driving my head into the center of his back at the same time, trying to wear him down. Osama Nishimura with a reverse drop kick right to the solar plexus. He too. actually caught me a bit higher, Dory. If you look, I'm holding my chin right there. He actually caught me right on the chin. One of his feet caught me right on my chin. The Royal Stud, Adam Windsor, behind one fall at this position. The support of the wrestling fans uh, and the support of the wrestlers here at the Funky Conservatory for this great match. They are divided. Some in favor of Osama Nishimura, some in favor of the Royal Stud. The underdog right now has to be the Royal Stud, Adam Windsor, behind one fall. Nishimura whips me into the turnbuckle. Hip locks me over. Goes for another hip lock. There's a reverse by the Royal Stud into a backslide. Nishimura is down. And the three count by the referee, the claw, the winner of the second fall, evening up this two out of three fall match, the Royal Stud, Adam Windsor. And you will notice his hand did not go up because in order to win this match, he must win the best two out of three falls. As you see, Missy Hyatt in the ring with Nishimura, Dory Funk Jr., as always, in the ring with myself. We'll be right back. Hi, this is Missy Hyatt, and welcome to Bang TV. I'm here at the Funking Conservatory. And you know what? If you want to become a wrestler, if you want to become a manager or a promoter or even a valet like me get in touch with dory funk and maybe you can be right here on tv with me August 24th, live at the Dory Funk Arena, it's Living on the Edge. In the main event, Adam Windsor will face Osamu Nishimura in a 60-minute Iron Man match. The wrestler with the most pinfalls at the end of the 60 minutes will be the Funkin' Conservatory Heavyweight Champion. Get your tickets now from To Your House Spa, Living on the Edge, Saturday, August 24th. Who will be the Iron Man? Be there. The Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. The third and deciding fall, Osama Nishimura against the Royal Stud Adam Windsor for the Funkin' Conservatory World Championship. Best two out of three falls. At this point, the falls are even. Windsor has scored one fall. Nishimura has scored one fall. The winner of the next fall will be the Funky Conservatory World Champion. Nice takedown there, Adam. I picked up his leg, I swept the other one away, and Dory, I'm going for the figure four leg off. He's trying to fight me. I have his leg there locked. I sit down, sit back, and I have it locked in on Osamu Nishimura. Notice the block, notice the block. Watch the hands of Osamu Nishimura. On the foot, keeps the Royal Stud from completely locking in that submission hold. It also keeps his leg from uh, feeling all the pressure of the whole body as well. Figure four leg lock used by the Royal Stud, made famous by the great Ric Flair. Blocking the hold of Osama Nishimura does not release that foot. Nishimura is still feeling the pain of the figure four leg lock as applied by Osama Nishimura. He can tap. 
Anytime the referee, the claw, in there close, all Nishimura has to do is tap or call it quits. And you're going to see more great action, wrestling action, at the Dory Funk Arena live August 24th. Saturday night, August 24th. We will be live once again at the Dory Funk Arena for Living on the Edge. The main event will be myself and Nishimura Dory in an Iron Man match, 60 minute time limit. One more time, Adam Windsor, Osama Nishimura, 60 minute time limit. This match will go 60 minutes at the Dory Funk Arena Saturday, August 24th, because it's an Iron Man match. Whoever wins the most falls will be declared the winner and the Funky Conservatory World Champion. As you see, Nishimura reversing the figure four leg lock on me, Dory. He has my legs, turns them around, locking them in. Has my right leg tied up with my left. And is, is like flipping back, Dory. It's a reverse Indian death lock. That hold, made famous by Wahoo McDaniel from the other side. Now Nishimura spinning around, trying to get me up and over his knees. Does so. Tell me what this is, Adam. Bow and arrow, Dory. The bow and arrow by Osama Nishimura from underneath on the royal stud trying to get the submission. I'm trying to find the rope, Dory, and I managed to grab the middle rope. I tell you, that is a very, very painful maneuver. Pressure applied to the legs, back, and neck. Adam, while well, we have a chance, let me let everybody know, if you'd like to become a professional wrestler, get in touch with us here at the Funky Conservatory. The number is on our screen. You can become a TV star in one week. It'll take you a long time to get as good as Adam Windsor and Osama Nishimura. But in one week, you could be on television wrestling right here on Bang. Call us at the Funky Conservatory. We train wrestlers, promoters, teenagers. We train announcers, managers. Whatever you want to learn about professional wrestling, you can learn it here at the Funky Conservatory. That's right, Dory. We are a full-service wrestling school, and you will be a TV star in just one week. Join our program. Call the number on your screen right now. And Osama Nishimura, how does it feel? Returns the favor, a drop kick right in the corner on the Royal Stud. Uh, it feels uh, uh, at that point in time, Dory, you know, he's, he's trying to wear me down. He's trying to score the next four. As you see him standing right over me, all the time, keeping his eyes on me. That shows you a master wrestler, Dory. He Absolutely, never, watch the eyes. He never takes his eyes off of me. Two great athletes, one fall apiece. As you see, I have him in a side headlock, Dory. I have him in the side headlock. Referee asking Nishimura if he wants to give in, give up at this time. I take him over. Osama Nishimura, shoulders near the mat. The referee in, watching the shoulders. Great job of officiating by our outstanding referee here at the Funky Conservatory, The Claw. The Claw, and as you see, I'm trying to push Nishimura's shoulders to the mat, trying to score that pinfall. Nishimura is uh, turning me over, Dory, but I keep the side headlock on Nishimura. The Royal Stud hanging on to that headlock. Nishimura feeling the effects. Doesn't feel good to be in a headlock for a long time. He's trying any way that he can. He tried rolling me over to get out of it. That didn't work. As you see, he's trying to find any way to get out of that side headlock. The Royal Stud, Adam Windsor, at this point, taking advantage of Osama Nishimura. Uh, there you see the, all the members of the Funky Conservatory out watching this match, and there is the abdominal stretch. That's his, that's his finishing hold. That's Osama Nishimura's best hold right there. That's what he wins most of his matches with. In Japan, he's got the abdominal stretch locked on the Royal Stud, Adam Windsor. As you see, I'm trying to hip lock him over, Dory, but there is no way he's going to break this hold. There is no way I can hip lock him over. I'm trying to get to the ropes and manage to. The abdominal stretch, as applied by Osama Nishimura, no way out, hard for him by the Royal Stud. There's a side suplex back. Nishimura lands on the back of his head. The Royal Stud in for the count. The referee, the claw, hits three. Nishimura's foot appeared to be on the ropes. The Royal Stud is up. He has stopped. There's Bill Behrens, the official from the National Wrestling Alliance, telling the claw, the referee, Nishimura's foot was on the ropes. The Royal Stud has the belt. His hands are in the air. The referee, the claw, trying to take the belt away from the Royal Stud. She says restart the match. The Royal Stud knew Nishimura's shoulders were down. 
for the three count. He heard the count. We saw the count, but we also saw Nishimura's leg on the ropes. The Royal Stud goes to the fans. Belt held high up in the air. Adam Windsor feels like he is the champion. Nishimura is confused. Goes, comes from behind, pushes the Royal Stud in, rolls up on top. It's a Pat O'Connor roll up and back into a bridge. But the Royal Stud kicks out. He has the belt. He bashes Osamu Nishimura with the Funkin' Conservatory Championship belt. Obvious, the referee has restarted the match. Nothing the Royal Stud can do about it, but he just bashed Nishimura over the head. The referee's in for almost a three count on Osamu Nishimura. What a controversial part of this match. All of the Funkin' Conservatory members, the wrestlers out there watching, the wrestling fans, everybody interested. Missy Hyatt wondering how this is going to play out. The referee in for another two count. Osamu Nishimura kicks out again. And this match continues after two big controversies. The Royal Stud has a double arm suplex. Over goes Nishimura. The Royal Stud in for the cover. The referee one, two, almost three again. What a great wrestling match we're watching here. Nishimura able to kick out once again. I had him in that double arm suplex. I thought it was over once again, but Nishimura showing his will, showing his, uh, his ability and having up in the air straight over suplex. Nishimura down, the Royal Stud in for the cover again. One, two, and Osamu Nishimura kicks out again. Great wrestling match we're watching here. One fall apiece. The Royal Stud holds one fall. Nishimura holds one fall. And this great wrestling match continues. Nishimura's shoulders are down again, Dory. I'm trying to ground his shoulders to the mat. I'm trying to, I'm trying to uh, have that side headlock on him, on him at the same time and wear him out. Not only do we have a packed arena here at the Dory Funk Arena watching this great match, all of the wrestlers from the Funkin' Conservatory are out watching, cheering, pulling for their favorite. And don't forget, we will be back again August 24th with a great wrestling match. It's, this time it will be Iron Match Rules, Adam Windsor against Osamu Nishimura. The match will go for one hour. Whoever has the most falls at the end of the hour will be declared the winner of the match and the Funkin' Conservatory champion. Get your tickets early. We are going to have 50, that's right, I said 50 visitors from Japan over here for this great wrestling match, Iron Man rules between the Royal Stud Adam Windsor and Osamu Nishimura. Nishimura down once again, but managing to kick out on two. Dory, I don't, at this point, I'm trying anything that I can to beat Osamu Nishimura, to pin him or make him submit. I push him into the corner, trying to wear him down. There's an uppercut shot right to his chest and another one. A third one, Dory, taking him down to one knee. Osamu Nishimura fighting back. He busts me right back, Dory. I bust him again right across the face, and he busts me again. Nishimura goes through to the floor. Who's that with a chair? That's Vic Delicious, Dory. Vic Delicious is sitting out there with a chair. Nishimura on the floor. The referee counting the 10 count on Osamu Nishimura. Vic Delicious. Nishimura's got a chair. The Royal Stud leans through, and my gosh, Osamu Nishimura bashes the Royal Stud over the head. The referee in one, two, almost three. The Royal Stud kicks out, and I don't know how. Osamu Nishimura tried for the pinfall. The wrestler's upset. The fans, I believe, are happy. Nishimura goes up the top rope. An unusual place for this great wrestler off with a knee drop across the chest by Osamu Nishimura on the Royal Stud Adam, Adam Windsor. Almost a three count by the referee, the claw. Japanese armbar by Osamu Nishimura. He has me on the mat, Dory, wrenching back on my arm. At this point, Dory, he's hit me with two big maneuvers and now he's grounded me to the mat. He's also hit me in the head with a chair. The wrestlers from the Funky Conservatory at ringside the wrestling fans at the Dory Funk Arena all completely engrossed by this great wrestling match between Osama Nishimura and the Royal Stud, Adam Windsor. There's not much time left at this point on the clock, Dory. This was a 60-minute time limit match. 
and there's not much time left right now. Time is running out. Adam Windsor has a fall. Nishimura has a fall. The first man to score the next fall will be the winner of the match. Nishimura picks me back up, Dory. He has me, goes to throw me into the ropes. Sleeper hold. Look at the wrestlers back there cheering at this point for Osamu Nishimura. He drops it back into what they call a chokehold. It's actually a sleeper. The referee is right there to call, can check, and it is unclear whether it's a choke or whether it's not. She's checking the arm of the Royal Stud. Windsor getting weaker and weaker, and it looks like Osamu Nishimura has the Royal Stud out or almost out. Is the Royal Stud almost out, almost unconscious. If he goes unconscious, it's over. The referee checking. No, the Royal Stud is still in there, still fighting. Still fighting Osama Nishimura for the Funky Conservatory World Championship. He still has that sleeper hold applied hard, though, around my neck, around my chin, around my throat, Dory. It's very hard at this point to keep on fighting back up. I'm trying to use any bit of adrenaline that I have left in my body. Nishimura, though, has me around the body. Northern Light suplex. There are only minutes left in this match, even less than minutes, as the referee goes in and counts two on the Royal Stud. Adam Windsor, Osama Nishimura, fighting at the end of the one-hour time limit. Both men exchanging forearm blows, punches, whatever they can throw at each other. The Royal Stud, oh, there he is with a small package. Osamu Nishimura in almost a three count again. I don't know how many times I've said that in this great wrestling match. The time is counting down. The clock is counting down. Far story. Nishimura looking over me one more time. Only seconds left in this great wrestling match as we watch Nishimura and the Royal Stud, Adam Windsor. The countdown by the announcer. The referee rings the bell. And time is up. The one hour time limit is gone. This is a 60 minute draw. Nothing like this has been witnessed in professional wrestling in a long time. The Royal Stud, Adam Windsor against Osama Nishimura. And after 60 minutes, they are one fall apiece. The match is a draw. And in this case, at this time, the referee, the claw, comes into the ring with the Funkin Conservatory Championship belt and gives it to the Royal Stud, Adam Windsor. In the case of a draw, the championship belt remains with the champion, so still champion, the Royal Stud. However, this great match turned out one fall apiece to a draw between the Royal Stud and Osama Nishimura. There you see the Vice President of the National Wrestling Alliance, Bill Behrens, in the ring congratulating both men it's a great match, pleasure to watch. And there you see what appears to be the most upset person in the Duncan Conservatory, Heater. Well, Dory, I have, uh, I have a Heater nerve. must have been cheering for Osama Nishimura. I guess so, and I guess next week on Bang, I'm going to have to deal with heat to myself. But uh, right now, as you see me and Nishimura one more time looking at each other after this match, we both extend our arms. And let me just say right now, Dory, I have the utmost respect for Osamu Nishimura. We went one hour in this match to a time limit. Next time, Dory, August 24th, it's the Iron Man match. The man with the most falls at the end of the match will be the champion. It's going to be a great match. Get your tickets now at Two Year Health Spa. We're living on the Saturday, August 24th, live at the Dory Funk Arena, it's Living on the Edge. In the main event, Adam Windsor will face Osamu Nishimura in a 60-minute Iron Man match. The wrestler with the most pinfalls at the end of the 60 minutes will be the Funkin' Conservatory Heavyweight Champion. Get your tickets now from To Your Health Spa, Living on the Edge, Saturday, August 24th. Who will be the Iron Man? Be there. With the world today, the light bulb.